have this uh, nifty lift HR 17 machine here and the fault is with the overload so if I turn the machine on you can hear alarm going off right away it shows the overload symbol on display so it's continuous sounding alarm and um, it does, a pro does have a problem with the overload so what I will try it now is I'm gonna try to see where the problem could be I have removed the gauge weight board here at the bottom of the console under the lid there is a cage weight board mounted so I remove the board and I can see the lights coming on I will show you in a second but um, so I'm looking for those uh, LEDs on this top left corner all free to be on and I'm gonna try to see what's happening on those LEDs if there is a red one flashing then that means there is a fault with the board if not then maybe the problems with the load so so let's switch the power on the power is on now see those LEDs is on meaning the power supply is good is a fault flashing on the red LED here you see it's flashing red it's giving the error code there is some detection of the fault on the board I'm going to disconnect uh, loads of wires here I will disconnect these colored wires and I will measure resistance on them I'm going to do resistance test now so I'm just checking the brown and black pair and uh, resistance on that is 0 0.8 ohms at the moment and the uh, brown and black should be around 1 ohm or less it's, it's pretty much a short circuit so what I will try to do while I'm measuring resistance I'm going to try to move the wires around here just to see if that's going to change but that, that seems to be good no problems on the black and brown so I'm measuring now blue and green and as well I'm expecting to be under 1 ohm and that's where we are 0 0.9 ohms just gonna move the wires around just to see if that could have any effect on the readings but they all seems to be solid so now I'm testing the white and red wires as you see here and we should be expect well, well I'm expecting to see about 350 ohms so 466 ohms on the white and red pair that's not right so I have to change the loto and that's where the problem is just out of interest I will test uh, brown and green wire as well so we know what that is and the uh, brown and green wire should be about 412 ohms so go on to brown and green wires here and the resistance should be about 412 ohms so I have 410 which is fine so the problem we have with the output on this loto so it's interesting what's happened here but uh, it doesn't look like there's any damage or anything so I'm gonna try to see under the under the cage and then um, I'm gonna fit a new load alone just show your progress so where I am so I got all the bolts out you can see the bolts that are moved uh, at the bottom here as well so the way I do is normally I just put some wood or something underneath the cage get the cage in transport mode lower it down safely so it's sitting there nice and stable it doesn't move at all so what I'm gonna have to do now because this this part is completely loose so I'm just gonna lift on a primary boom up slightly just to free up the load cell here and I'm gonna fit a new load cell in and then uh, put the bolts back on so I just lift it up on a primary boom slightly and you can see the gap here increased so this is the way the load cell comes out and uh, let's see the load cell is out and uh, here it is it doesn't look like any any damage on the load so it seems to be good and this is my new load cell here and um, you see you just need to be careful on this uh, rubber sealed areas because that's where the strain gauges is and the load cell comes with a certificate to show the calibration uh, that's from this new load cell 
and as you can see here in the middle there is an output resistance 350 ohms and uh, in, a, in a factory it's been measured 350.99 ohms and uh, that's what we would be expecting to see and uh, on the old one we had uh, 400 I think 70 if I remember correctly so that's completely out so you see where it should be so if you're not sure normally you find the certificate in the box uh, with the load cell a lot of times people ask what that arrow means and that arrow shows direction so it should be pointing down okay so as the load cell is fitted that way so the arrow would be facing down so that's my load cell fitted on now so what I will have to do now is to I will have to do calibration so the first I will do the zero and uh, I will do it with the empty cage so as it's always use this calibration unit and it plugs into the plug right here and um, so the unit is plugged in so I will have to press zero and hold it for a few seconds so then we can uh, have uh, LEDs coming on, on this side indicating that calibration took a place so let's start the machine up Right, that's a new load, so we still have a light flashing here. So now I will do zero calibration. So I have to press and hold the zero for about 10 seconds until the lights are solid. You see the lights are solid, the red light stopped flashing. Now I release the button that has calibrated zero. And I will do safe working load as well. So I've done uh, safe working load calibration, so the same, you just press SWL button with the 225 kilograms in the cage and you can see the green light is on now, everything is working fine, no problems at all, so I'll assemble everything back together and I uh, will test the machine a bit more but uh, I think that's going to be fixed.